Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca the Prairie Gal and welcome to another one of my adventures. Today we are going on a real adventure. We're going to try to find two of Al Capone's hideaways uh, out here in the suburbs. One of them is located in Inverness, so we're going to drive up there and check that one out. And then the other one is located on the Fox River in St. Charles. So uh, quite an adventure in store for you today, so let's go. Arriving at destination on right. Well, we made it here to one of Al Capone's uh, hideouts and secret hooch. And believe it or not, today it's actually the city hall for the town of Inverness, Illinois. So we're gonna walk up a little closer and get a get a better look at things. So some of the literature about this building says the building consists of a there's a refurbished bar inside. And uh, there are four cement block silos. And uh, it was in these silos that was the hideaway. Look at the silo to the left. There's actually windows um, where he and his crew could have an unobstructed view of the neighboring countryside. And that, from there they'd be able to make sure they could see any G-men that were coming up to try to raid the building. Today the silos are actually part of the village offices. It's amazing. So we'll walk up there and see if we can get a closer look at things. So we're going to walk around the building. I think we're going to go inside and see if there's any thing to see on the inside. It does seem like the perfect building as a hideout and storage area for bootlegged alcohol. So I just went inside and talked to one of their office administrators and asked them a little bit about the history of the building and she said that this is a Al Capone's hideaway is, is alleged so I'm not sure um, if there's definitive history on, on this building being uh, Al Capone hideaway um, but from what I was reading from several other sites is that they claim that it was so it certainly um, if it was true, they're not admitting to it inside the, the, the city hall here. So um, the inside was actually pretty cool, um, but I, I wasn't comfortable videotaping in there. Um, anyways, we'll walk around the outside and take a look at it because it certainly is something that looks like it certainly could have been Al Capone's hideaway. So we'll check out it a little closer. I don't know why a farmer would have four silos like this and why he would put windows in them. So logically speaking, it seems like it'd be a, certainly a great hideout. Anyways, it's, it's a very unique building, sort of castle-like with those conical towers. If I ever make a movie and I need a castle-like building, I think I know where I'm coming to. We just don't have many castles here in Illinois. So what I understand is this back portion, um, in fact the building in between, 
the office administrator was saying that was actually once a, for a real estate company which was built in between the silos. But these are the windows that allegedly Al Capone's uh, henchmen would stand guard and wait for the G-men, watch for the G-men to come. You can see their, their water tower, which the uh, town is right next to Palatine, and even their water tower here for Palatine has a conical top, which is not normal, very unusual for a water tower. So I think they were trying to mimic these towers, and I think it's great. I asked if there was an office up there, and she said, no, it's just empty. See, this is located right off the road here. And the road by that wire tower is uh, Route 14. Okay, this is a rather fun place to stop and visit, and we're going to go to our next destination. Uh, which is on the Fox River back in St. Charles. So, let's go! So we've just turned off Route 25, and uh, we're going to go back towards where Al Capone's hideaway is. This was a good hideaway because it was certainly well off the beaten path, especially in 19, 1920s. used to be a juvenile prison here. They took that out a few years ago. Turn left. In one half mile, turn right. Here's the Fox River bike path, which actually used to follow an old railway bed that went along this area, along the Fox River. In 
100 feet turn right. There's the Fox River when you want to come down here in icy conditions in the winter. And there it is. Pull over here. Arriving at destination on left. So here we are, we, we made it to Al Capone's Hideaway. Um, like I said, it used to be a restaurant uh, up to a few years ago. You could get a great steak in there and um, they had sort of brought the decor of uh, old speakeasy, um, but it's been shut down for a number of years. A little bit of history about the building. So Gladys Reitmeyer and her husband owned this hideout it was originally built uh, as a beer garden in 1917. And uh, Al Capone, when he took over, they made their own beer in a hidden cellar uh, behind the chicken coop. Looks like the chicken coop would be somewhere out back. It'd be a great place for a chicken coop. And used to pump their prohibition beer into the restaurant or into the speakeasy through a series of uh, copper tubing that, uh, as I learned on the internet, is still supposed to be there. Um, there would be uh, several raids here, bar barroom brawls, and there were many bootleggers at the time, and uh, it was reported that rival gang members would visit the Reitmeyers every other month, each suspecting the other was selling beer to the couple instead of them making it. And you could imagine this location being on the Fox River here, really out in the middle of nowhere in the 1920s. Come down this road. Or the road this way, come down that road. Yeah, it's a shame it's not a restaurant anymore. It was a real fun place. I got to eat here a couple times when it was open. So if you were driving from the town of St. Charles, you would come via this route to Al Capone's hideaway along the river. So this is coming from the north, driving south. I imagine 
doing this an old Model T. Because it's squirrel. That's going to do it for today's adventure. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to be notified when I upload new video logs, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the prairie.